Hey, welcome to Arman Mission. Let's check what is new in 4.3.15 beta version. Right away, we have a little bit fresh welcome screen. We have this section where newcomers can check the projects, the videos, and even download the project files and try themselves. I have two animations, the glow in rainbow colors, which is consisted with uh, just simple blobs, and then a race, which is just a single image, duplicated and just scaling and all that. I'm gonna release tutorials on both of them and maybe some more, but today I want to show you how you can blend two animations. I'm not talking about a preview window where you can play them on separate tracks on overlay one of the other because that's not going to be exported in the final file it's just for preview as the view name says what i'm talking about is the new constraint type it is available starting from 4.3 15 beta and you can find it under constraints new here or just select an animation and create a new and you will find it there as you can see, in glow animation, the rays are not moving, and in ray animation, the glows are not animating. I want in the ray animation to animate also the glows. Let's blend them. I will create slider constraint, selecting glow animation, and let's create slider. That's it. You can see next to the glow, we have an icon, and that will show that this animation has slider constraint on it. Click on it to select that slider. And now we have two sliders. Well, we already know what Mix does, just uh, enables or disables the constraint in a gradual way. But then we have frame. What it does, it actually sets a key for that particular frame. If I scroll this, you will see nothing because we don't have Mix. So let's turn on the Mix 200 and now scroll the frame. See? It's basically animating for us. So what we need to do is just animate the frame slider. So let's set to zero and key it, set on 50 and set it to the end, which will be the 40 because we have 40 frames in that animation. Let's change back to race and play. Fantastic. We have race animation, which shows animation from the glow using slider constraint. How fantastic is that? But did they actually make this whole slider constraint just for we can blend two animations in Spine? Because we do really can blend them in program just using tracks as we can do in preview window. And it really has very rare use cases where you would really need to just blend the animations. One that I clearly will use is when you have very huge, very long timeline and you just animate background with super slow moving clouds and then very fast moving some other objects like leaves or trees. In that case, what I normally would do, just duplicate the leaves like 20 times to fill the whole 4000 uh, frames timeline. And this time we can actually change the speed of the animations. For example, in the glow and ray case, the glow animation has 40 frames while ray animation has 50. So what we actually did, we stretched 40 frames along 50 frames timeline. So that means the glow animation will play a little bit slower. I'm going to just select the end frame, just drag here to maybe 400, let's say 400. And what will happen is actually the first cycle will end and it will stop there. See? Because we don't have loop enabled. Let's go and enable that. And spine after the end frame will start the cycle again. See? And it loops perfectly. What we can do even further is we can use singular poses and blend between poses using curves. So think of it, you just not only use bone positions, rotations or scale, but you can also use alpha colors, attachment keys, and with all that, you can create, for example, facial poses in one single animation, like angry, sad, and then recall them in any other animation and even blend between them. How great is that? And what Spine developers told me, they promised we will be able to map 
that slider to bone movement or rotation. In that case, think of it like we will have a bone, like an arm, and depending on the rotation of that arm, we can play an animation state and we can blend between them. Just using rotation, we'll blend between the animations. It's not available yet, but it's coming very soon. So it's really powerful tool. It's a great building block that will be um, developed further so we can create flexible rigs. That's going to be it. You can like this video and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.